Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Blizzard has announced that starting March 5th, they will be buffing Discoverer's Delight. Its XP value is increasing from 50% to 100%, as well as they are making it last all the way till 40. This is huge for people wanting to level alts, or for those who are still trying to catch up. There's already a demand for boosting, but now with this buff, it'll be even more important to learn your boost to start making gold. Over the next few weeks, I'll be releasing videos updating all of my boosts for level 40 and what their new XP gains will be. I will also be mixing in a few boosts for Paladins, since my Paladin is now level 40. Starting with Stockades for Mages at level 40, which is still a massive boost for Alliance. It's really easy and really solid gold. You can sell to up to 4 people at once, and on average for my server, Stockades boosts are going for 3 gold per reset. You're looking at roughly 60 gold per hour, not including vendoring. If you're someone who likes to raid log and you need a little side gold for consumes, this is a great boost to bust out once or twice a week for easy gold. You can boost this dungeon for levels 15 to 31. With the new 100% XP buff, your boosties can expect on average 80,000 to 100,000 XP per hour, which is pretty awesome. We will be doing this as Deep Frost. Any spec works. I've done it as Fire, Arcane, and Frost. All of them easily hit Lockout. It's just way safer to do big pulls as Deep Frost. We really just want Ice Barrier and Shatter. For the pull, it hasn't changed much since level 25. If you are unfamiliar with this kite spot, I recommend looking up the level 25 versions of this farm. I go over how to juggle in those videos. At 40, you want to do as big a pull as possible but don't feel forced to pull extra rooms if you get stunned or dazed. You have plenty of time for this farm. You're hitting lockout well over the 15 minute limit. I'm having over 10 minutes of downtime right now. Grab as many mobs as you can with a living bomb and then go to our normal kite spot. You then just juggle them in the living flame. When you notice them starting to run, I frost nova, cone of cold, and then arcane explosion them down. I don't even really need to living bomb them anymore. This is super easy at level 40. Nothing like it was at level 25. You repeat this pull for all the mobs. Here's the rough route I try and take. I can do this place very quickly in essentially 5 very big pulls. Again, if I take more pulls, I'm not too stressed about it. You have plenty of time to get everything. Once my ice barriers break, I'll usually start heading towards the kite spot. You don't even have to use the kite spot. You can AOE them down in any of the rooms pretty easily too. Up next, you'll see a full clear of me doing this farm. Over the next few weeks, expect updates to my boost for Oldemon, Graveyard, Stockades for Paladins, and hopefully Cath as well. Still not 100% smooth on Cath, but I'm getting there. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Good luck boosting, boys.